this is Lisa Moradian from Glorient Designs. Today we're going to do a fluid pouring of a tray and I'll give you a few uh, design ideas of what to do with it. Um, so here's an example of a tray uh, that I did using all um, metallic paints and here is a second one that I did my design um, inspiration for this project was actually this pillow. I really loved the colors in it, these bronzy colors and, and red and <clears throat> gold. So I took those as inspiration colors and to build my paint. And I decided to do a tray, number one, because I had uh, a couple laying around and because I was doing a project um, to decorate a coffee table. So as you can see, I'll just mimic it. Take a, a placemat and put the tray on because people can put their glasses and stuff without ruining the table. And then just put something simple on it like a candle, a little decoration and it looks beautiful. All of a sudden your table looks very expensive and beautiful. So anyway, enough about the decorating. Let's get started with the pour. So the first thing you're going to need is, of course, a tray. I uh, have one here and I actually primed it with spray paint. Um, I really do suggest using some painter's tape to tape off the edges because paint it just gets a mess. Um, so some of the items that you're going to need besides the tray is for this pour I am using CraftSmart multi-surface multi-surface metallic paint. I really like the metallic paints. Um, so today I have about five colors, so you're going to need about five different colors. You're going to need popsicle sticks, you're going to need um, some small three ounce cups and then a larger cup. You're going to need some glue all or some kind of pouring medium to keep it together. And then you're going to need a little flow troll, which can be found in the hardware store in the paint aisle. And then you're going to need some water. I like to put it in a little squeeze bottle. It, it makes it easier. And then you're going to need some, um, then you're going to need a paintbrush. And then after the project is done, you're going to need some um, acrylic poly. And of course, you're going to need some gloves and you're going to definitely going to need some paper towels because if you haven't done pouring, it makes a big fat mess. So I have mixed most of my colors except for one and I will show you um, how I mix the colors. For metallic paint, um, you don't need silicone for this project, but you need the paint pretty thin. So I will um, do a mix here. This is uh, the color Espresso. And you pour the paint in and then um, Put just a little bit of Elmer's glue all, which I already have it mixed with some water. And then just a little bit of um, a flow troll in it. And mix that real good. And for this project, you're going to want your paint pretty thin. Um, it is a very hot day today here. And... Um, Pores don't go as well. The, the paint gets thick really quick. My paint is probably already too thick because it's been sitting there. So you want to put some water in to thin it down. And as you can see, you want it pretty, pretty drippy. That's pretty good. I'm just going to put a tiny bit more in. And then I'm going to just test my other paints because they've been sitting there for a while. Yep, see how it's not very 
It's not very drippy, so I need a little bit more water. Now, um, I since you can't see, but the outside of this is red, and I really want the red to pop, so I put a little bit of festive red in there, which is not a metallic, in with the rose gold uh, to still have it a, a metallic-y finish. So that looks good. Here is my copper color. That looks good. And I did the same technique with gold. I put a little bit of um, yellow paint in it to give it a little better consistency because all of these metallics are transparent. That needs a little bit more water. And then I just have a pop, just a pop of green. So let's get started. Okay, take your cup and start pouring your colors in. This project doesn't take all that much paint um, and you don't want to put too much paint in it because you'll have to deal with the overrun. So I'm not going to do a flip method. I'm actually going to do a pour method today. Each time I do it different, we'll see what this, this yields. So just pour it on. And as you can see, it's a pretty good consistency because it's flowing pretty nicely. So you'll want to just move it along the tray. If it was too thick, it wouldn't be moving so quickly like this. So again, make sure your paint is thin enough. Now, one other thing to keep in mind, try not to put too much paint on because you're going to have to deal with getting rid of it. I put a pretty good amount on, so I can actually, I can actually leave the painting just like that if I want it. If I don't, I'll show you what to do. If you're not liking it and you have too much paint, what you'll need to do is take a cup, and this is why you take the ends, is you're going to need to pour it off of one of the ends. You don't have to, but if you have too much paint, it's a good idea to do that. But as you can see, it just changed my design a little bit. So I'm going to leave it alone. Well, no, I decided to go right over it again. Look at I'm getting a whole other pattern now. That's the fun of fluid painting. You don't like it, you just keep playing with it. So, there it is. So I'm going to let this, I'm just going to keep it flat and I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to leave it alone for a couple of days and then I'll take the paint off and then I will, um, I'll put two or three coats of poly on it, especially if I'm going to be using it somewhere where, you know, things will be scraping on it. I want to really um, give it a good coat. One of the reasons I do use the multi-surface paint because it automatically cures itself in, um, in 21 days. So after 21 days, it becomes very hard and very uh, hard to get off. So that's why I like the multi-surface paint, especially for a project like this. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some design inspiration today to make your things look beautiful. I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
Glorient Designs, and whatever you do, happy painting and happy designing. God bless.